Come on. Put him here. There, here. Thank you. No problem. Uh, 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 there. There you go. Now the shoes. Uh. All right, come here. Take a look. Oh. So these are the urine bags and the tubes. That's enough to last for one week, right? Uh. And you'll be able to take care of the sputum and adjust the respirator, right? Uh, I still remember what you taught me. Uh huh. So this is a sputum aspirator, uh -huh. brand new. After every use, disinfect it to avoid infection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Miss Lynn, put in some alcohol swabs and gauze here. Just throw them out when they're used. Don't try to keep them for too long, all right? Uh, and always make sure to keep his bed clean, okay? Thank you. Thank uh. you, Director Ma. You've helped a lot. That's an award Sue got when he was still in school. I still remember. He's a smart kid. His grades were good, and he was on the student council. <sighs> it's such a waste. He got sick. No, ma'am. Please don't think like that. Sue is still a good kid. He's really smart. He may be just lying there, but his eyes are full of life. I still remember when we were treating him. He understood us and cooperated. Thank you very much. Sue is lucky to have great doctors. It's our job. Actually, Oyang is normally cold and strict to her patients, but she's kind to Sue. So don't believe her when she says she's just doing her job, okay? <laughs> now I know. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's his father. <sighs> our son. He's home. Oh, thank you. He's finally home. Really? That was fast. Uh, the doctors helped me take him home. Oh. Uh. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, Director Ma. Hello, how are you? Thank you so much for saving our son. <laughs> oh, no. We're just doing our job. Go. Go and see him. My son. I was about to go to the hospital. It was a good thing I didn't, because you're cured. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it's almost noon. I prepared lunch for everyone. Let let's treat the doctors. Okay. I want to give thanks. No, it's okay, ma'am. We're about to leave. Uh, please You're don't not bother. bothering us. It's a rare opportunity, so please eat with us. Director Ma, you have time to eat lunch with us, right? Let me just prepare some food. Soybean paste noodles. You like that? Soybean paste noodles? That's my favorite. Fine. Let's stay for a while, okay? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> just wait right here. Promise it'll be quick. Thank, Thank you. This way, Director Ma. Okay. Please, come on and take a seat over here. Oh, <laughs> oh here. Here we go. Oh. Thank you. Son, we're eating lunch with the doctor. Sorry if you can't join. What if? Let's bring Sue out here so he can eat with us. No, it's all right. Just sit down and wait there. He can't eat. I'll go check on him. All right. Okay. It's ready. Here, take a seat. Let's eat now. What is ready? Ma'am, let me help. No, it's fine. Oh, okay, get your chopsticks then. There. There. There you go. Here we are. Go and eat the noodles while it's hot. Did you know that I Thanks. make good noodles? All the neighbors say that my noodles are good. The best in the world. <laughs> Come on and eat. Eat up. Come on. Mmm. Ma'am, these are delicious. <laughs> eat as much as you like. What about you, Oya? What do you think? Yes, it tastes good. Here, I got you another. But I can't eat that much food, ma'am. All young men have a big appetite. When Sue was seven years old, he could finish two bowls of that. <laughs> eat some more. Eat up. <laughs> you see, young men have a big appetite. Just look at him. And once they start eating, they won't stop. <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> That's right, ma'am. Did you know that Zhao Chong is the most honest guy in the ER? <laughs> it's true. I agree. You can tell by just looking. <sighs> if only Sue didn't get sick, he would probably be in college. Maybe he'd even have a beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> Keep on eating. These noodles are fantastic. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I have another one? These are so good. Sure, sure. Would you like another one? Huh? Are you okay, Zhao Chong? 
Were they that good? Don't laugh at me, Dr. <laughs> Oyang. I ate so much, imagine two... two big bowls of noodles. <laughs> and then some more food. <laughs> Oyang, did you notice how Su's mother looked at Chao Chong earlier? She looked at him as if he was her own son. Chao Chong did a good job in eating two big bowls of noodles. Good work. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Director Ma. Do this, Xiao Chong. Put your hand on your nose and try to breathe. Okay, slowly. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep on doing that and you'll get better. Wow, Dr. Ouyang. I never knew you were such a nice lady. I'm not that old. <laughs> what I meant to say is that you're actually kind and easygoing. I almost failed to recognize you. I think I'd be inhumane if I wasn't more easygoing while facing Sue's family. Oh, Yang, you did the right thing. Let me tell you, I lost count on how many times I went back here. Since Sue was in second grade, the eight-year-old boy's parents have been in and out of the ER for so many times. Night or day, rain or shine, they travel just to take him to the hospital for countless times. They do that at least six times a year. To tell you the truth, Sue really had a hard time. The life he lived was not something just anyone could deal with. But that boy, he never cried or complained. And he has good parents, who never get upset. If you only have one child, he will be your only source of hope. I can't help but imagine how his parents would continue living if he didn't make it. Is that why you decided to stay with them for lunch? Actually, even I don't know how long he'll live. Do you know what his parents wanted? Visitors, so he wouldn't be lonely. I've been in the ER for so long, I've seen many families lose their only child. It's heartbreaking. Sue is such a good kid, so we need to do our best. That way, he can live with a smile on his face. As doctors, we can do that. Look at it like this. Sometimes, life is like a spark. When it's there, it lights up the whole room. But when it's gone, it feels dark and lonely. That's why we should cherish life. I'm an ER doctor. Many people look down on us. We don't have specialization. But despite that, even if we're not specialized doctors, people need our help too. Director Ma, if you're busy in the future, I can go there to give the weekly supplies. I'll be counting on you. Let me tell you, sometimes by helping others, you're not just helping them. You're also helping yourself. I know how that feels. I really do. That's new. How come you're late? I overslept. You went to Sue's house this morning? Yeah, and we ate some noodles, too. <laughs> I'm jealous. I wasn't treated like that. Maybe someday it'll be your turn. You'll eat noodles all the time. <laughs> By the way, Xiao Chong, mm. those noodles were good, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> he ate two big bowls and hiccuped on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why do I feel like stuff like noodles, two big bowls, and hiccuping... Sounds really weird coming from Dr. Ouyang. Do you notice something? What do you mean by that? Are you trying to say that Ouyang could only say things like red roses, cake, and crystal slippers? Why, you? Aren't you making Ouyang a stereotype character? What about you? Of course I'm not. <laughs> Zhou Yumang, come with me. Um... Dr. Wang? Sorry, did I do something wrong? It's fine. Don't be scared, okay? You must be tired lately. I'm pretty tired, but I learned a lot. You're very hardworking, but don't burn yourself out. I'm the chief resident, so I can't leave the hospital. But you don't need to follow me all the time. You're an intern. Follow your shift. You understand? Mm. Thank you, Dr. Wang. I'll make sure I have time to rest. Mm. Actually, I don't have to worry about my interns, huh? <laughs>
You're not on duty today, so don't hang around here after work, hmm? Look, it's already dinner time. Why don't you come with me to the cafeteria? I'll treat you. To dinner? You've worked so hard. You deserve a reward. That's okay, Dr. Wang. Don't worry about me. I know you're tired and busy. I feel really guilty if I waste your precious time. You haven't slept all day. So why don't you take a nap instead? Y you're not going? No, thank you. Oh, next time, hmm? So, I'm going back. Sure thing. Get some rest. Bye, Dr. Wong. Take care. <laughs> Very smooth. But it was too subtle. Why are you here? Were you listening to us? Listen, Wang Bo, what were you doing? You like that girl, right? But you don't have the courage to say it. She can actually pick up on a subtle move like that. You just wasted your chance. Why are you interfering? Don't you have your own life to fix? I'm just trying to help you, man. No, thanks. Who do you think I am? Just, um, go back to your rounds. I'm gonna take a nap. <sighs> that guy will die the same as pride. <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you here to see a doctor or confined patient? Wait, you're... Oh, you're that Jin guy, right? That's right. You remember me? Of course I remember you. We don't get many fake patients here. If you're here to see Dr. Ouyang, she doesn't want to see you, so go home. <sighs> but I didn't come here to visit Dr. Ouyang. Is Dr. Zhou on duty today? Who's Dr. Zhou? Zhou Yimang. Heart rate, 67. Blood oxygen is slightly low. I'm leaving. Leaving? Okay. Sure, get plenty of rest. I'm busy tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Dr. Chung. Hey, you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm. <gasps> Dr. Chung, Dr. Chung, Dr. Chung, look! What the? He's back? You know why? Nope. I'll stall him. Warn Dr. Oyo. Wait, what? Dr. So, I'm here to see you. To, to see me? I thought you're here for Dr. Ouyang. Dr. Ouyang already has a boyfriend. I don't see why I should bother someone like her. So you're going after me instead? I just want to give thanks for taking care of me back then. I'd like to ask you to dinner. Dinner? Here, these are for you. No thanks. Hey, you there. I know I have nothing to do with this. But can you stop? It's inappropriate to do oh, that here. Yeah, I know. I need to ask you to leave. <sighs> yes, you're right. Um, Dr. So, can we talk outside? Hey, oh, I what? think she's mad. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Where are you going, huh? I need to see this. I need to see what? Will that help? Call Wang Bo. Dr. Wang Bo? Dr. Wang. What is it? Dr. Chung told me to call you. Is there a patient? No, sir. Someone's here for Shou Yi Meng. What's that got to do with me? It's that Jin K guy. Remember the guy who wouldn't go away? He wants to take Zhou Yi Meng out for dinner. And he brought her roses. <clears throat> Doesn't he like Ouyang? I have no idea. Dr. Chung says it's all up to you. Up to me. Mr. Jun, you don't need to take me out to dinner. And besides, I really didn't look after you. Remember, I even asked you to leave? That's right. What you said to me was good advice. Allow me to be honest with you. I was faking back then. <laughs> but you... You made me understand that we can't be so selfish. Because we have to think about others. It's true you didn't save my body. Instead, you saved my heart and soul. So I really owe you a lot. That's why I also want to ask you, will you be my girlfriend? What are you blabbering? How could I become your girlfriend? That's ridiculous. I can never imagine in a million years. Impossible. Anything is possible. You just have to believe it. Well, sorry. 
sorry, but you're an exception to that rule. Oh, wait, we can still talk this over. You're not impulsive or emotional. Actually, I think you are a very logical person. So in this given situation, you shouldn't be impulsive or emotional. You should really calm down, think about it more carefully, and then, then you can come up with a conclusion. What I'm trying to say is that we should spend more time together. Get to know me. I know you won't regret it. S stay back. What do back. you think? What is this? Dr. Wang. Mm. Are you Dr. Wang? Right, my name's Dr. Wang. What's happening? First you like Ouyang, and now you're switching to Zoe Yimang, huh? Well, it looks like Ouyang has a boyfriend, so there's no point in pursuing her. For now. And what about this girl? How do you know that she's single? You have a boyfriend? Of course. She's with me. <laughs> you two? Mm-hmm. It's not convincing. Is it for real? Of course we are. Right? Why, do you think that we're not really a good match? <laughs> um, well, I apologize then. I'll leave you alone. Hmm. Goodbye. Keep these. It would be a waste. Why don't you keep them, huh? <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Dr. Wong? Yeah? Your hand? Oh. Okay, he's gone. You can go home. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, and by the way, I need to tell you. I know relationships are personal, and I shouldn't say too much, but I feel the need to say this. Guys like that will do nothing but cause trouble, so be careful, you got mm, it? Got it. Okay, go. Hi again, Miss Sue. So, you didn't leave the hospital? That's one of my good qualities. I'm persistent. I never give up until I die, never cry until it's over. I admit that Shen Chen Chuan is really Ouyang's boyfriend, but I'm not convinced with you and Dr. Wang. It's weird. So tell me, are you two really together? Look. Look, I'll just say this. I seriously want to be in a relationship with you. You can't just lie to me like that. You... Wait, it's not yet that late. Why don't we go to a nice restaurant and have a short chat? I'll pay for everything. I'm sure that once you have the chance to get to know me, you will hate me less. I'm sorry, but that's not a good idea. You might think it's still early, but to me it's already late. I still have to work early morning tomorrow. I have plenty of things to do. All right. I won't pressure you anymore. Tomorrow. I will visit you tomorrow, then. You don't then. need to. And don't come to the ER anymore. You caused a big scandal today. That was embarrassing. People might misunderstand. All right. I won't go in. I'll just wait at the door for you. If you want, I can drive you to your no, home. No, 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 no. Thank you, but I'll go home myself. <laughs> Let Don't me take move. you. Uh, our dorm's policy is really straight. I don't want to get in trouble. I said don't move! Good night. Go, 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 good night. See you! Hi, excuse me. Is this for a patient, sir? No, it's for a doctor. A doctor? Yes. Which doctor? Zoe, mom? I don't want to cause any more trouble for you, so I decided to stop visiting the hospital. That's sensible. Let these roses be the symbol of my unwavering feelings for you. Wow, how romantic he is. I hope that somehow these roses would make you stop and think about me. If you feel like you want to eat dinner with me, just give me a call. Jin Ko. So, don't pretend like you're not involved. These are for you. What do you feel? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing? Mong Mong, we all know you don't like the guy, but don't take it out on these roses. Look at them, they're so pretty. You could at least appreciate them. 
Thanks. Water here doesn't keep you close. Later. Right, I'll get on it. All right, great. Nice roses. Who sent them, huh? Why are you looking at me? These roses are for Dr. Su Yimeng. Who sent them? Remember the guy who was pretending to be sick? Jinka? A lot of patients give flowers to doctors to say thank you. But sending roses? That's rare. That's, That's rare. rare. So Yimeng, what's this all about? I don't mind patients showing their gratitude, but for personal matters, don't do it during work. Don't mix it with work, okay? I'm not Dr. Wong. He had them delivered. Do something about it. Put them in the nurse's station. If patients saw the flowers here, it would be inappropriate. Okay, I'll just throw them out. Mong Mong! They're so pretty! Don't throw them out. I'll put them in our dorm instead. It's okay if I put them there, right? Hi. Coordinate with bed six. Okay. What, more flowers? <sighs> Dr. Wang, these roses are mine. I'll take them straight to my dorm. Isn't that... What? I... <laughs> Ow! Go! <laughs> so just check on her periodically and keep me posted. Right. Just continue medication. Yes, sure. Dr. Wang? Mm -hmm. These are for Su Yi Meng. Can you give them to her, please? Sure. Now you have to watch over them, okay? Uh-huh. Ai Xiao Chen. Uh. Here, get rid of these. Dr. Ouyang, I'll be right back. Sure. <laughs> now what? You find it funny? <laughs> Don't laugh. <sighs> Easy with the milk. It's not your rival. I heard more roses came today. It looks like Zhang Ke is taking it seriously. So when are you planning to surrender, huh? If you let him go on like this, Zhu Yimang might eventually fall for him. I don't care. You're just gonna stand there and let him take her? Now that doesn't sound like the Wang Bo I know. <laughs> I'll just wait and see. How long will he do this? <laughs> hey, don't take it out in the milk, man. Take a look at all these pretty flowers. How come I don't receive any of these? Meng Meng, how are you able to do it? Don't shout in the middle of the night. I didn't do anything. Even I can't believe that those flowers are from me. Lord, please listen to me. I want a Prince Charming. I wish you could give me a Prince Charming. I want to have my own Prince Charming too. Please, <laughs> come on. Go to sleep. <laughs> I don't want to. Wrong, wrong. Mm -hmm. If Jinka's flowers arrive, don't bring them inside, okay? Huh? Okay, sir. Looks like Wang's finally ready to fight back. Says who? You should think of a counterattack. I'm not really knowledgeable about fighting for love, though. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> that guy. 
So, you're also meddling with that issue now, huh? It's my way of fitting in the group, joining the ER Gossip Club. Well, I'm excited. Me too. What's that, Rong Rong? We all know you have a rich boyfriend, but you can't give us so many presents. These are from me to you. They're all from Zhu Yimang, given by Jing Ke. Wait, what? I thought I told you not to bring them in anymore. But these aren't flowers. I'm so sorry, Dr. Wang. Hey, Meng Meng, check out what they are. Why don't you open them? Oh. Whoa. Hey, is that her annual bonus? Wow. Is that from Jing Ke again? Who else would it be from? Awesome! Look at this silk scarf. I've always wanted to have one, but they're so expensive. <sighs> mm. Hey, it looks like your rival is giving it its best shot. Aren't you even gonna make a little counterattack? <clears throat> Zhu Yimong, are all these for you? I knew he'd raise the bar sooner or later. You knew that? Wow, this is a nice perfume brand. I know it's expensive. Yes, you're right. See this wallet? I know it's expensive, too. So, you know, if he's so persistent, it means that he's serious. I think you should give him a chance. Dr. Shen, what do you think of giving gifts as expressing one's feelings? I think it's fine. I have to agree with you. It's pretty hard to determine. But you can see the intention. I mean, look at you. You came in here bringing flowers, then passed out on the floor. We saved your life, but lost the flowers. I think they've withered in the storage room. Wait, Dr. Shen. You've never given Ouyang anything else aside from the flowers you brought her before, right? Shut it. Dr. Wang, I know you're a good person, a good doctor. But you can't always use your authority and command people to express how you feel. If you do that, there will be a low chance of success and might cause a malpractice. I don't need you to give me advice on what methods to use for my treatment. I was just trying to help. Well, you know how we doctors love to emphasize on giving the right medicine. We take it seriously. This might be off topic, but it's a good example. I like Ouyang, so I gave her something special, and now we're together. Something like that. <clears throat> hey guys, that's enough. At least now I don't have to give her flowers every day. And who said you could stop that? <laughs> I thought you don't care about stuff like that. But what if I do? Huh? Okay, then I'll get you something. I don't want just anything. I can be really picky. Dr. Shen, you should ask us for advice on these matters. And why would I do that? Because we are going to be your in-laws. You suddenly came here and swept our queen of ER off her feet. You think that's okay? <laughs> Aren't we talking about Zhu Yimong here? You don't need to worry about Zhu Yimong. Just focus on your own problems. <laughs> Dr. Shen, you've been here for quite a long time now. You and Dr. Ouyang have been together for quite a while too. But we still haven't heard anything about you throwing out a celebration for that. I honestly think that you didn't do a good job on that aspect. He has a point, <laughs> Dr. Shen. I know sometimes you see me as a dumb person, and sometimes I say things that make people angry. So if you don't treat us in-laws to dinner to show gratitude, I cannot guarantee what I will say about you. And not only that, we'll also tell others. <laughs> and suddenly, you're all against me, huh? Didn't you say that you wanted to be part of the ER gang? That's the price you gotta pay. So you're siding with them now? Because you're not buying me stuff. <laughs> all right, then. You guys talk about what you want to do. I'm fine with anything. I just want all my in-laws satisfied. Great! <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, now that's enough. We're on duty today. Let's talk about that some other time. Everyone think of an idea, then let's meet, then decide. It's that easy. <laughs> Thank you for organizing it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go back. <laughs> Dr. Chung, it's your grandma. Oncology needs you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Chung. Grandma, what's wrong? How are you feeling, huh? She has an infection. Her blood test looks bad. It's very serious. She needs immediate attention. Let me see your chart. Her lungs are severely infected. Her respiratory system is failing. We're considering using an endotracheal. Endotracheal? Where's the x-ray? She has no x-ray. There's no available machine in this room. Then what are you waiting for? Go take her to the ICU. Yes, sir.
Here's the X-ray. See that? There's a dark spot here. Is this a spread or just an infection? It's invasive, not benign. Her blood tests show obvious signs of infection. How about this? Let's stop the infection. Once it's under control, we run another test. Okay, that sounds good. Mm. Cheng Jun, can we intubate her? In intubation? You're both her family and a doctor. <sighs> Let's do it. I'll handle it. Okay. Prepare a tracheal tube. Respirator, phanomycin mixed with antimicrobial. Yes, doctor. Sputum sample into culture. Miss Chang? I work with Chang Jin, your grandson. My name is Ouyang. We're going to give you a breathing tube, okay? You have an infection in your lungs. If you don't contain it, it will be dangerous. So don't worry, ma'am. I will be very careful. Why don't you wait outside? It's okay. I'm fine right here. Mirror? It's in! Grandma, you'll be okay. Stay strong. You get some sleep. I'll be right back, okay? So just try to be patient and sleep for now. Please? All right. Go get some rest for now, okay? It's okay, thank you. Oh, Yang. Thanks for your help. I'm glad you're here. It's nothing. No need to thank me. Mm. Hey, get some rest. He's right. Rest for a while. I'll be here. And don't be too anxious. Let's wait for the test results and see if she's better tomorrow. Then proceed to other tests later. Hey, Cheng Jun. Yeah. How is she? All her stats are normal. Mm. There shouldn't be any problem. Hey, mm? go get some rest. Every time something happens to her, I'm not there. Let me stay here. If I get tired, I'll rest right here. So go and do your work. I'll be just fine. Okay, call me if you need me. Sure. What a world. Hmm? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? Nothing's wrong with me. I just think that life's not fair. He is such a good person, giving flowers and gifts. Why can't I have that? <laughs> I deserve those too, you know? Giving gifts makes him a good person? I think your head is on the wrong side. I don't think my head is on the wrong place. He really looks like a good person. Not all people can think of doing the things he's doing for you. Dr. Shen, for example. How do you know Dr. Shen doesn't do those things? Of course I know that. I'm following Dr. Ouyang around enough to make me look like her little tail. Wang Bo, 
I think I need surgery. I want to remove my tail. Sure thing. <laughs> Just schedule it. I'm so sorry, Dr. Ouyang. I won't joke about Dr. Shen anymore, promise. It's fine. You can joke about anyone you want. Just not me. Got it? I'll go ahead. This is irritating. Oh, and you have a problem. Good luck to you. What are you staring at? Oh, is your grandma okay? Yeah, she's fine. You? You okay? Do I look not okay? <sighs> Stop pretending. <sighs> Zoe Mung won't fall for him, right? A war in love is cruel. You need to be strong. I must be strong. Mong Mong, why are you up so early in the morning? Today's the blood drive. Wait for me! <laughs> Head Nurse Lin! Good morning, you're so early. No, I'm not early. This is my normal schedule. I'm here since five. Oh. Head Nurse Lin, we're here to take the blood drive forms. Oh, the blood drive forms. Zhao Chong took them already. He was here at five as well. He was here since five? I bet he just wants to show off. We'll be going now then. All right. Bye, Head Nurse. Hmm. Hi. You're here early. You're still earlier. It's always habit. Why are you so early? I'm helping interns with the blood drive. We have to finish before the oh, meeting. I almost forgot. You're the team leader of those ER interns. You have to be really close to them. We're already close. Uh, what do you think? They said I should give you something to show you how I feel. And this is what you thought? What's wrong with this? Flowers, bags, plants, things, they're all material. But this is better. Your health <laughs> is the greatest gift. You're just a cheapskate. You need this to be complete, just like you. Okay, then I accept it. Let's go. Come on. All right, just keep pressing it. This is radial artery blood from patient Zhu Ling Ya. Okay. Hi, sir. Good morning. How are you? He has diabetes and high blood pressure. We can't take blood from the arm. Let's try on his foot. Nope. Foot won't do either. <sighs> Sir, we have to draw from your femoral artery. Don't worry. It's a thick vein. It won't hurt. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Getting blood from him again, and in the thigh of all places. Can you really do that? Last time you pricked his hand so bad, it's still swollen. I don't want you. Get someone else. It's fine. I'll do it, okay? All done. Don't worry about it. Take your time. You'll get used to it soon, all right? She's comforting me now? <laughs> 